Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we are going to understand how to create React element using JSX. In the previous lectures, we had learned what is JSX and its benefits and how it works. So in this lecture, we will create a React element using JSX. Using JSX, it is very easy to create React element, just like the standard HTML syntax using which you can create React element. We are going to create fruit list. We will create a container division tag and put ul tag with the class fruits. In this ul tag, we will create two li elements with the class item and specify fruit names. Right? So if you are using create element method to create this simple fruit list, then the code should look like this. So here you have your division tag and in this tag, this is your container and in this container tag you have your ul tag and two nested li tags right so if you read this code and just create an output in your mind then the result would be possibly correct because this code is very complicated to read and understand so let's see how to create nested element using jsx so here in this file we will create nested fruit list so using unordered list we are going to create list of fruits so, to use JSX in the React application, you need to include Babel library first. Using this library, you can transcompile JSX code into JavaScript. So, we will just include the Babel library. So, I will just open the browser and type Babel CDN. Click on the standalone Babel CDN website. So, I will just click here. Standalone build of Babel for use non Node.js environment. Right? In the future lectures, we will understand how to create React application using Node.js and also understand how to use JSX using Node.js environment, right? So just for now, I will just copy the minified version of Babel library and paste it in the index.html file just before the React packages has been loaded. So this is our React packages. We need to include this file just before the React packages here. So I will just paste the script tag over here, right? Before using JSX, you need to specify type attribute to use Babel. So I will just specify type to the script tag and say text Babel. Keep in mind, specifying the text attribute will transcompile JSX into JavaScript. Otherwise, the script tag will not recognize the JSX code and you will get an error message. So don't forget to specify type attribute before using JSX, right? In index.html file, we have a container of division tag in the body section. Now I will just create a nested fruit list using an order list, right? So I will just create hello world program first to understand JSX easily and then create nested elements. So I will first select the ID container division tag and store in the variable. So I will say let container is equal to document dot get element by id and say container here right so we have our division tag in the container variable just after that i just wanted to print hello world on the document so i will just say react dome dot render i will use the render method to print ui and just after that on the first argument of render method i will specify h1 heading tag so i will just say h1 and just close this h1 tag and here i will specify hello world right just after that specify comma here to specify second argument and say container here so this is my container division tag right so when you execute this you will get hello world on the document so this code is very simple if you compare this code with the create element method. The Babel library will transcompile this JSX statement into create element method and create h1 heading tag with the inner HTML text hello world, right? So let's understand how to create nested elements using JSX. So I will just get rid of this h1 heading tag and here I will just create ul tag and specify class fruits and just close this ul tag 
In this ul tag, I will just create two li tags. So I will first say li class item and specify some demo text. So I will say mango here, right? And just after that, create my second li tag. So I will just copy this li tag and paste it here because I wanted to use the same class name. So I will just copy and paste it here and say banana, right? So I will just edit the name and say banana. I will just enter my second fruit name, right? So I just wanted to append this ul tag in the container, right? So when you execute this, you will get nested elements on the document. So this is very easy and very simple to read and understand. It is very simple to create nested element using JSX, right? In the next lecture, we will work with the React component using JSX. That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.